Hey, what's up, my people? Zengo here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform the Takara Transformers Lunar Cruiser Prime. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing you want to do is remove the antenna here. Just put that off to the side, and then you're going to just come back here. You're right down here and just pop this up and get all this up and out of the way like so. You're going to take this section here and bring that up and over it'll just tab in right there just line it up and drop that down once that's done you want to take these panels here and pull them out gotta get everything undone here and this also pegs in right here as well so there's a couple things we gotta undo here so undo that on that side and kind of pop this out and just undo all that on this side as well and now you just want to unpeg this section right here just pull that out and that will drop down unpeg that and just drop that down uh, once that's done you want to take this entire assembly here and bring it all down you can say it's on double hinge here so just take it and shift it forward so it sits right there to form the waist and now you want to split the legs you want to take this leg and just pull it up so that will undo itself like so you want to take these sections here and lift them up lift them up and that will allow you to take this entire assembly here and extend it down go. there we go send all that down like so and do the same thing here just extend this down like that and now you just want to straighten this section out for now, so you can take this wheel and shift it down, and then rotate it into the leg. That'll sit right in there like that. Then you can bring this entire assembly up, and there's a tab here that'll go into this notch right here in the side. So just line that up, and just tab that in. Just get it good pushed in there. There we go. And then just take this panel and flip it in. And they have the leg all done. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just bring that down. And then just shift this wheel down. Rotate it down. And then swing it into the leg. And bring all this up. And that will just tap itself in this side right there. Just line it up. Get that tabbed in. And flip that panel in, and there you have the legs all done. And after you've done that, you can take these window sections and rotate them down. That will allow you to bring the arms forward and bring that forward. And then you're going to take this panel here. You want to pull it forward, rotate it, and then push it back in. And you just kind of rotate the arm. Bring it down, rotate at the biceps, so everything's oriented properly. And also you have this little kind of smokestack right here. Just bring that up, and you got that side all done. And same thing here, pull that out, rotate, push it in, rotate the arm, bring it down, rotate the bicep, and bring that up. So now you're going to take this little port right here and just bring that down. Take this antenna here and rotate them out. And you can take all this and you want to bring it up. These side panels here are on double hinge. You just want to shift them up, shift them up. This will collapse down. And then you bring all this up and over. And these sections will now just clip over that right there, like that. And take them on the other side. That's going to end up clipping into this panel here, like so. And now you just want to take the chest piece here, bring it up. This section will just rotate all the way in. Now you just bring this back down. You just want to push his head up. It'll just kind of thoop itself into place. Bring the backpack down. I have tab slot connections right here. Push that in. And lastly, you can take this antenna, just plug it onto the uh, smokestack there, and there you have a Lunar Cruiser Prime in his robot mode.
And now to get him back into robot mode, just remove this, put that off to the side. Uh, you want to first undo the backpack. Let's get that up and out of the way. Take his head, push it back, bring this chest piece up, rotate this section back out, and then bring all this back down. And next you want to undo these clips here on either side, so you can open this up. Just free that up, straighten that out, and then just shift these panels back down. And you can just straighten all this out. You can take this little port here, and just kind of bring that back up. And also bring these up as well. Next, just rotate the arms outward at the bicep. Bring the arms out, rotate the arms 180. And then pull out this panel, rotate it, and slide it back in. And pull the panel out, rotate it, and slide it back in. Once you've done that, you can take the arms and just bring them back. Oh, one more thing to do. Almost forgot. Take these little smoke sack here, rotate those down. Do that here, rotate that down. There we go. And bring those back. Once you've done that, take these windows and rotate them up. And next, take this panel. Just bring that up and untab the section here. Rotate it down. Bring out the wheel. And then just rotate it up. It'll just kind of thoop itself into place right there. And you can bring this back up. And now you want to rotate the leg. You want to rotate it at this hinge here. Bring it up and over. Get everything is situated there. Straight the foot out. Bring that down like that. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Open it up and untap that. Bring it down. Rotate the wheel out. And then rotate the wheel up. Like so. And then rotate the entire leg. Up and over. Make sure that foot straightened out. Make sure everything is sitting where it's supposed to. Then you come here and you will close these sections up right there. Once you've done that, you can tie the two legs together. Just bring one over the other and lock them together like that. Then now you can undo the waist and bring all of that back and up. Make sure it's sitting straight in there, like that. And now you want to take these sections here, just bring them up. Just kind of tab in right there, slide that up, and tab that into place. Get that all situated. And this panel also just tab in right there. Just tab that in, like that. Just make sure everything's lined up. Bring this up. Tab that in, and again, get everything lined up, situated here. This will also tab in right here on the side. This side can fight you a little bit for some reason. Doesn't like the lineup. I found that if you line these two panels up first, you can kind of get everything sitting where it needs to go. There we go. Because they need to sit flush with each other, and then you can kind of tab them in. There we go. Like that. It's kind of a trick to this side for some reason. And make sure that that pegs in right there. And once you've done that, you can just shift all this forward. You have these little tabs. Make sure they go underneath that section there. And just drop that down. Then you can drop this down. Make sure it just sits all nice and flush there. Open up the section and just bring it back. Take the antenna and plug it back up top. And there you have Lunar Cruiser Prime back in alt mode.